What is up, Collective? I'm back with some more messages. Let's see what the tea is. What's happening for the viewer's energy? True love. That is so nice. The healing light. We have fragmented energy reversed. So you could be... You could be shaking off, shaking off this fragmented energy feeling conflicted about something. Let me see what this is. Or this could be someone around you. Someone is three of swords. Someone is unhappy about your true love. Nine of discs. So you're showing up as this nine of discs, okay? Um, you're flourishing. You're abundant. Whoever this fragmented energy is, they're showing up as a princess of discs reversed. Okay, so they feel like they have lost something. They feel like they've lost value. They feel like nobody's looking at them the way they want people to look at them. Okay, this fraud, Nine of Swords, that is in fear watching you come into this beautiful, abundant energy of true love. You're very passionate about things. Your world is expanding. Your world is growing. This person is fragmented energy. They're just sitting and watching in fear in fear okay they're sending you the evil eye sending your your true love partnership okay to family. this is a dark magician a dark priest priestess someone that feels you know uninspired came out this morning so it's like that like this person has lost the will okay or they feel like they're losing resources that they don't have what it takes to conquer or claim something here. Nine of nine of um discs. This fragmented energy is like they want they want to project it towards your partnership. Princess of Cups reversed. They want to block your judgment. They want you to feel like something isn't realistic. The moon reversed. But that is this person's fears. They feel exposed. Okay. What, what, what else do we need to know? Queen of Swords reversed. Okay, this person is, is bad mouthing, they're spreading rumors. This King and this Queen of Swords, okay, that's wanting to attack your partnership. It's a joke. I want to do a part two for this King and Queen of Swords here. This karmic couple, okay, this Bonnie and Clyde that keep coming out. They're showing up as fragmented energy, okay? They're in an energy of loss, deficit, right? Okay, I want to see. Your, your world is beautiful, okay? This is the thing. They're watching you in private and they're trying to stop you from receiving some sort of wealth or abundance. Four of Cups reversed. Again, with the hands in the places that it shouldn't be. Or they are paying out a big amount of money here. They have to give something back that they try to take. This King and this Queen of Swords could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Virgo energy. We have some Earth as well. This couple tried to stop you from leaving somewhere. They tried to um, block. They tried to block your path, collective. And the divine aren't happy. They have been consistently trying to um, break you apart, break you apart from your true love. Okay, three of cups reversed. Okay, they don't want you to come into union with your partner, or they don't want you to celebrate something with your partner. They don't want you to. Um, you could have children with your partner, okay? And it's like there's arguments surrounding children that's happening. Okay, okay. But I am seeing travel here. Travel plans, hidden travel plans. Okay. Or 
hidden plans to block your travel. And then we have the Hierophant in the reverse. So something that you are saying, something that you are doing is triggering this couple here. They feel exposed. Okay. You can have a platform, people look up to you, or a, this couple, they are... I'm getting, you have beliefs, you have different beliefs than this people, right? You... And they want to stop you from... They want to, um... Because you have, there's a child here, okay? I'm seeing a child. And it's like they want... <laughs> it's like they're trying to... They're trying to cause blocks and problems for you and your child and your partner. Okay, I'm back. Part three. So it's like this couple. Now I'm getting it's like you could be a young person and you have a very innovative mind, okay? You're very imaginative, you're a free spirit, and but you're also someone that's very you have a lot of strong um beliefs that might be unconventional, okay? So this couple, they really feel challenged, okay? This Queen and King of Swords could be older than you. They feel like they are they are smarter. They feel like they should have one up on you, the Hermit here. But secretly, they want their abundance. They secretly just want your wealth, your abundance. So it's like they want to, they wanted to create some sort of uh, material instability in your world so perhaps they could claim your abundance or perhaps they could um claim your child for, for example if this is involving children because i do he see like there's a situation for some of you that is involving a child a young person you could be a parent a single parent co-parent whatever it is um secret or hidden plans here involving a child or you could be a child Okay, it's like this couple, they want to steal from this young person. They want to um, create a narrative for people to believe about you, even though that that is not who you really are, okay? The moon in reverse, it's like <clears throat> illusions, okay? This couple have been under illusions. They've been trying to barricade your path with illusions to stop you and your business from progressing, from growing, to stop people. Because you people listen to you. Listen, people listen to you. You're you're this hierophant, but you're showing up reverse. So it's like there's something really new or original about your path that this couple really do not like. It's a threat to them. It challenges them. But your path is leading you to great abundance and true love, okay? You could have a spiritual connection here, a spiritual partnership that is also a complete threat to this king and queen of swords in reverse that are making up rumors that are um, strategizing in secret about how they can block this wealth, sudden wealth, from your path. But their energy is fragmented, it's breaking apart. Okay, let's look at all the jigsaw pieces in this card. They've lost the plot. <laughs> it's like they were, they're missing pieces, okay? If they were building up some sort of case against you, against your life, it's like it's all fragmented, it's fallen apart. They don't really know where to put their pieces now. They don't know who to turn to. This Queen of Swords is um not having a good time. So this couple here are really just trying to strategize ways of blocking your abundance, your money, and your work. Right? This is the energy that I'm getting here. Mentor of Cups. You're a healer. You're someone that's really good with people. Okay, you could be an artist. You have some sort of creative gifts and talents, right? That are supposed to bring you in wealth. King of Discs. Alright, you're supposed to build something with your talents here. You could be really strongly psychic with this Princess of Cups energy, Hierophant energy. It's your connection to the divine that is so triggering and it's so threatening and it's so intimidating because um, this couple here, they're showing up in like swords energy, which is very detached, it's very cold, okay? It's more centered around the mind, around logic, 
okay, around reason, and you are showing up as, as more watery energy, your strong connection to the moon here, very sensitive, a sensitive, young, imaginative individual, and you're building something here that is either breaking up this couple or it's breaking down the illusions that they have they have put out about you, okay? Yeah, because it's like they have been whispering in everyone's ears, okay? Saying that you're like this. Okay, I'm getting all of that. But you're destined for true love and you're destined to be wealthy and prosperous with whatever it is that you are building, okay? You have love and money entering your life. The angels love you. You're showing up as very successful, entrepreneurial. Whatever you have built, it's concrete, it's stable, it's meant to last. You you are about to pop off. You're about to receive information or a good opportunity and it's going to help you to go further. You're going to be using more resource. More resources are on their way to you. I'm getting that. More resources on their way to you. And this couple, this karmic couple here, who have been defeated, they're feeling the burn. They're feeling the burn. Princess of Wands. I'm getting that they may be, they, they did something too quickly. They planned an attack too quickly. It didn't materialize. It didn't come together. They had the wrong idea about something. Or they've just been trying to downplay your work. Yeah, like this person isn't isn't anything this person is delusional this person thinks they can talk to god this person thinks this and this person they're they're away with the fairies it's that type of energy defeat this is bitterness coldness jealousy okay they're you are bad news to whoever is attacking you this couple <sighs> anything else justice